I guess I need to say I'm not a cannabis grower. I don't even like it very much. And I'm not invested in it here or anywhere else. But one thing I am invested in is something my dad told me about the truth. He said to always make the truth your friend, even when the friendship was difficult. That's why I made this short documentary. I love this place, and we deserve a lot more truth than what we've been getting from some of our local politicians, and especially from one in particular. In an August 2017 email discovered in a Freedom of Information Act request, Supervisor Dennis Mills answered fellow prohibition advocate Bill McManus about their shared desire to shut down legal, state-regulated cannabis farmers in Calaveras County. Revealing his strategy for the months to come, Mills first blamed legal growers for environmental damage caused by illegal growers, then encouraged his fellow prohibitionists to spread that lie in public. Mills actually wrote, don't let go of this. It's their Achilles heel right now. It's apparent now Mills knew from the start he'd have to lie about the environmental practices of regulated growers to provide cover for Clyde Clapp and Gary Tofanelli to join him in putting legal growers out of business with a ban. His account had to portray them as no different than illegal growers, an infamous bunch most people know have committed decades worth of environmental catastrophes throughout Northern California. Had Mills actually been interested in the truth, he'd have discovered his enemies were, if anything, among the most environmentally responsible farmers. Evidence of that can be seen in an interview featuring County Agricultural Commissioner Kevin Wright, posted to YouTube on January 23rd, 2018. We actually had 180 um, cannabis growers come in our office voluntarily on their own and ask us um, to provide them with information as far as what they needed to do to comply with uh, pesticide laws related to cannabis. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But that evidence of care for the environment wasn't even mentioned in a scientific-sounding 61-page report ominously titled Cultivating Disaster. Written by Mills and a group of non-scientist so-called policy advocates, their intent was clear to smear every registered Calaveras cannabis farmer as an environmental outlaw. The result? To call the Mills report deceptive is almost a compliment. For propaganda to persuade honest people, it has to seem credible. But according to reviews by two independent scientists, the Mills report came closer to bad comedy than good science. Ascent Environmental, hired by the county to write an environmental impact review of the regulated growing industry, stated in their review of Mills' report that it should not be misconstrued to apply to impacts of existing and potential cannabis-related operations that adhere to applicable regulations. In plainer words, Ascent called out Mills for lying about regulated growers. A more detailed and blunt account of Mills' dishonest document is a 25-page review by Patrick J. Sullivan, a 40-year veteran forensic environmental scientist who resides in the county. Pulling no punches, Sullivan's review convinces any reasonable person cultivating disaster is a flat-out fraud. Amazingly, Mills wasn't satisfied with fraudulently inducing the Board of Supervisors to vote 3-2 to two to ban the farming it had permitted with an ordinance only 16 months prior. Emails discovered in a Freedom of Information request reveal he began grooming fellow anti-cannabis zealot and Mills contributor Ed Langen to defeat Michael Oliveira in District 3. Why is pro-ban and questionably qualified Gary Stevens running to defeat current Sheriff Rick DiBasilio? You guessed it, another grooming project of Dennis Mills. Time will tell if his power plays and lying pay off. If they do, Supervisor Mills will have succeeded in putting hundreds of family farmers out of business without proving even one of them ever damaged the environment. Let's face it, our county is divided about cannabis farming. But we shouldn't be divided about the ends justifying the means. It's just not okay to lie. And it's up to us to make that clear, especially to the ones who look to us to set an example.